Hello everyone, this is a um, 2v2 clan battle between Huntsman and APGC. Uh, I play as France, Big Gun plays as uh, Portugal, and the two APGC players both play as Prussia. Uh, basically, my guy uh, stakes up for his game basically camps and General Green, Big Guns Guy, uh, kites his lights forward and backwards uh, quite badly throughout the game and demolishes quite a lot of Big Guns line uh, which is a really cheap tactic and really quite dishonourable, there's no real reason to have to play like that. So here my guy's just forming his lights into a line. Big Guns moved up, as you can see there the rifles, uh, the lights have already shot at his line and then run away as Big Guns line were moving up. And here on my side uh, I decided to try and get rid of their cav pretty quickly so I charged my lancers in and lancers obviously do quite a bit of damage against regular cav or heavy cav as well and I just charged them in and then run them straight back out again. In behind my old guard are forming a square, so that when their cav charge up, um, they can shoot at the cav. And I eventually end up routing all of those units. Uh, I think I lost one lancer unit, and that was all. Here, as you can see again, the lights are firing. He's already moved his line back, getting ready to move his lights. And his lights are running away yet again. This time, Big Guy manages to get a shot off at them, but still not enough to be able to actually do any real damage to them. So here on my side, as you can see this is the last of their cav routing away now. And I still have four lance units left and they have no cav, so now I've got complete cav superiority over him. He then decides to stake. And here as you can see the lights of General Gee, Green on um, Big Gun side uh, running away again. So here my guy's staking up. So basically these two players are just basically trying to stand their ground and just wait for us to come onto them or camp basically and it's not really a very good way to play the game realistically the more you move your units around the more chance you have of winning uh, the more mobile your army is the more chance you have of winning the more static you find yourself uh, it's easier for people to flank you and things like that as you don't really have time to counter it. So here on my guy's left flank, my right flank, he's running one of his musketeers away from my old guard and my lancers charge in and demolish them and uh, the musketeers end up routing away and that allows me to then take his flank and then I'll be able to have Cav on the behind him and here Big Gun asked me to get rid of General Green's lights on uh, General Green's left flank uh, because they were basically stopping him advancing on that side. So I charged my lancers in and uh, General Green charged his lancers back at me. Uh, the cab follow on and I've got a Polish unit there shooting them up and then Big Gun decides to charge some of his cabin as well. Obviously lancers are great uh, charging, they've got a fantastic charge bonus, but in melee, the the Prussian lancers aren't so good. So here, as you can see, I've got my guy's flank, and he's actually shooting my cav up there, which I don't mind so much because one cav unit is pretty expendable. It's better than him shooting up the old guard that are moving in on him. There's three old guard units there, National Guard. I also have uh, another cav unit behind the old guard, and three obviously down on their right. and here on Big Gun's side. He's still trying to kite, as you can see, his lights are still yet again trying to run away but he isn't very good at controlling his units really, he's quite sloppy and Big Gun manages to uh, give him quite a few shots this time. So here I decide to ignore the two lines on the bottom of the screen and I charge all the cav and my National Guard into the lights, try and get rid of the lights because then 
basically on this side uh, in a line on line fight my old guard will quite easily demolish the musketeers so if I can get rid of the lights it made life a lot easier for me so those lancers destroy the lights they move straight onto the musketeer unit behind <coughs> there as you can see in the bottom of the screen um, big guns cavalry engaged with the lancers he didn't move his lancers back out so they will lose that battle uh, here General Green forgot to form a square so big guns cav managed to charge straight through them and I think the line unit take about 40-50 loss because of that so here on my side my cav are now routed away and basically my old guard uh, I've got a young guard unit there as well and a Polish unit all coming in to shoot basically a very very strong force coming down the flank and basically that's the plan just try and push that flank but as I see that General Green is actually managing to get onto Big Gun's right flank, his left flank then basically I decide to take a risk and move my Polish up as well which isn't a really clever thing to do as they're going to be shooting at lights and lights do tend to seem to do very well against liners, they're pretty damn difficult to hit So I've got another cav unit there, going in on the lines to try and give my Polish a helping hand. And here on this flank, as you can see, my old guard are doing pretty well. And they'll be wrapping up that flank pretty soon. I believe most of that side do route away, but they do come back a bit later. <coughs> so here the Prussians got some cav floating around as well. and um, my guy decides to try and move his lights out of range of my line so he gets some shots off but my, I've got three lines shooting at them there I had and um, they just move straight up and they manage to shoot again my old guard are going melee on the musketeer unit there I've got another old guard unit trying to chase away the units that have roused at the bottom of the screen and another old guard unit behind the one that just charged in on the musketeers so really now my guy's just running and that's all he's really doing now he's not trying to do any kind of counter attack on me, he's just basically trying to run away so one of my um, Polish go melee on the lights that he's got at the bottom screen there, you can see one of them is routing away <coughs> here on um, Big Gun's side, his liner engaged with the Prussian Musketeers and uh, the Portugal line are a lot better than the Prussian Musketeers so he'll be able to win that battle even though he has now lost his general there at the bottom of the screen you can see the units are routed away earlier on have come back so basically a couple of old guard units are there trying to chase them back away again Big Gun's also got a cav unit there in on one of the Prussian lines which is helping his line out So here are a couple of my guys going in now and they're going to basically put some pretty accurate shots off and they'll make them right away pretty quickly So over on Big Gun's side he's doing pretty well against his guy now uh, the units that have come back have all now pretty much routed away I've decided to move my two Polish guard up two Polish units up and they're going to be shooting at the musketeer units Although, and there we go again look more kiting try to take a shot try and run away before I get a shot off really cheap tactics quite disgraceful actually the amount they do kite through this game considering the fact they call themselves a clan so Big Gun's got a um, line unit going to come behind these guys now he's also got another line unit there that are going melee so now basically my Polish in front takes some really pretty serious losses the, especially the bottom unit there which are routing away my other unit is doing alright for himself 
and now at the bottom of the screen I had my old guard now coming back up and moving in behind. So this is basically the end of the battle now. Uh, it was a good game. Uh, well done Big Gun. He played ex uh, exceptionally well because of the fact the amount he was kited on. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching.